Hey y'all, hey, it's been a little minute. Yes, it has been. Mm -hmm. I know y'all miss my ass. I know y'all miss my cool ass. Mm -hmm. I know y'all miss me coming on the camera, you know, with the real cute shirts on because you know, everybody can't do it like Reese do. But look, we can ready to get into Nika. Nika, what I'm not understanding is the video that I just watched, you said that you were going to go pick up your son. Okay. Now, what I'm confused about, and maybe you can help me with the dirt dirt, is the fact that you want to go pick up your son, but you don't want to do nothing for Naya. I, I see how clear it's getting now. I see. You come on here and you are begging, dry begging. We know when you get ready to beg all the time. We know. So you say, well, the kid's birthday, uh, you got some kid's birthdays and they about to come up and all of that. And yeah, because you're telling us about their birthdays. We don't give a fuck about your kid's birthdays. At least I don't. I don't care. Okay. See, that is your way of letting people know it's their birthday. You're probably going to come up here and do some cash apps. Uh -huh. You're going to start begging. That's all that's doing. But see, the slick ass people like me... We can see you coming a mile away, okay? A mile away because those lashes you be wearing, you could be two miles away and you best to believe we can see you coming, okay? So you know which one of your kids' birthday is coming up. Now, I'm watching your video and as I'm watching your video, you are sitting in your driver's seat and you are eating Wendy's, okay? But when your children's birthday come up you are a piss poor mother absolutely piss poor okay like i've told you this before you don't need no kids you don't need a fucking goldfish you don't need a groundhog you don't need nothing because you cannot take care of anything that is breathing correctly i wouldn't even trust you to cut my grass it probably would die as soon as you step one foot on it you always eating out getting back to my point you're always eating out but when these type of events come up for your children, you don't have no money. If you would stop eating out every three hours, you wouldn't have this problem. See, what it is is that the people on here, YouTube and on TikTok and all of that, they enable you. Absolutely, they do. Now, I watched the video where the, one of them had a birthday and basically Naya is the one who bought the presents and, and, and the cake or whatever it was, or whatever. And you don't feel worthless, Nika, that your teenage daughter, which is, well, I mean, she's grown now, but Naya is the one always coming um, to uh, help you. Like, if that was me, I would feel disgusted absolutely disgusted okay because i got eight nine ten children all right and i can't take care of them i gotta rely on other people to take care of my kid you don't get why naya don't want to be around you it's mostly because you feed off of her you try to control her that's exactly what you do. That is one of the reasons why Naya come out the house looking busted and disgusted because that is what you do. See, she comes out in a bonnet every day because that's what she is used to. If she was to get around some other type of friends or whatever, um, her boyfriend, people, whoever, um, she would stop doing it. You are a bad influence on everyone that is around you. You are a leech. All you do is leech off of people. You don't never give nothing back. Never. You are the same as Jasmine. You leech, you leech, you leech. You don't never give anything back. Now, you over there in that new place which you got or whatever, I already know you ain't got no bit of furniture. Mm -hmm. probably don't even have no beds they probably sleeping on the floor and also nika what i'm don't understand is your son okay so it was said that he touched one of the girls or whatever all right that's what was said but nika i found out that that's not the first time it was another girl okay that he had touched all right yeah i, I found that out y'all know how reese be finding 
it out immediately. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's not the first time he's even touched. That's the second time. If I'm not mistaken, the girl was, I think it might have been 12 or 15. But don't quote me on that. Don't even quote me on it. But I mean, this shit is out of hand. You still coming back up on here cooking all of that fucked up food that you cook. You still coming back up on here feeding those kids not enough food. You still coming back on here screaming and yelling at the top of your voice to the kids. You still come back on here and your kids be naked and walking across the screen. Like, it, you're hopeless. It's no way to correct you. You are just out of this world. You are a complete idiot, a complete piss poor mother, a complete breeder, as I named you and everybody now I'm starting to call you that. The breeder. That's exactly what I look at you as. Exactly. And oh yeah, let me get into this. I seen a video where though it was at your children's school, they were graduating and you looked a complete mess. You look like a complete embarrassment. All right. You had on those shoes with the fur on them or whatever it was on there. You had on some leggings and a shirt. You look absolutely horrible. Absolutely horrible. You should be ashamed to even go to your children's school like that. Now we're going to get down on the kids or whatever. Your son looked absolutely terrible. Terrible. Mm -hmm. He had on some dress slacks, a shirt with some boots other daughter she got on a dress that is three to four times bigger than what she is supposed to be wearing and you got the nerve to get up there and take pictures of yourself and of those kids you are a complete idiot i keep telling y'all that she is a idiot you move from one place to the other it don't get no more fucked up than this y'all I'm, I'm telling y'all it don't get no more fucked up than this okay and better yet you still want to um apply yourself to being exactly like jasmine one thing i can tell you is jasmine she ain't gonna be in a, i mean her shit is fucked up let's not get it twisted but jasmine ain't gonna be in a house you know what i mean with no furniture or whatever at least jasmine gonna go and get her a bid from rent -a center the bid might cost a thousand every month but <laughs> But that is absolutely what she's going to do. You are just piss poor all around. I mean, it is terrible, okay? See, where you are at in the state that you are in, they don't give a shit about none of your kids. They do not, okay? Because I've seen what has been put out and and stuff. I, I've seen it. And it, they really don't care. See, nigga, your kids are not adoptable at all. Mm -hmm. that's why cps let you do whatever it is that you want to do to those kids unless child abuse not going to school things like that they like they don't care i mean how would you feel the phone rings and you know you got to work on the phone and you the foster care parent and you like yes i have a couple kids that are sisters and brothers that i would like to um see if you would be willing to take them and then the foster parent goes, okay, so what are the problems that they're having? They go, a couple of them got ADHD. They all need to be potty trained, okay? And then, uh, then she'll say, how old are they? And they need to be potty trained. And then, Nika, you say, they 14 years old. <laughs> yeah, that's the type of stuff that they ask you. And you... I'm serious. You couldn't say nothing. The baby don't even walk. And you think ain't nothing wrong. You get on here and say, she's reaching all her milestones. Spell milestone, Nika. Spell it. I bet you can't spell it. I bet you, bet you, bet you can't. Yeah, uh-huh. So I'm going to go ahead and slide up on off here, y'all. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Later.